All right, uh, another Junkman Dev vlog. Uh, this time we're going to be doing a shot where the anti-villain, the, the uh, bad guy, is pushing past all of his staff, desperate to get out of the doors. Um, but they're all in his way, and he's screaming, get out of my way, get out of my way. So, All of these staff members here will have to be placed around the door and then animated so that they're sort of walking out. Ideally, somehow done so that there's just one pattern and they're all following that pattern without them also seeming like they're in a queue. Uh, and then in the middle of all that, the bad guy here pushing them out of his way. So that's going to be quite a lot of actual post pose animation I think um, wouldn't surprise me if I didn't even get it all done today but nevertheless we shall try so the first thing to do is to move all of those characters into a reasonable position to start off the scene we we'll take every one of the generic characters, put them in the corner, add the main bad guy as well. Quickly build a walk scene for each of them and then make them walk through that walk scene. Just literally four frames of one foot and then the other in front of each other. Copied and pasted many times. Here I'm editing it so that they slide to the side at a certain point. And then for each of the characters, deciding what that certain point is on the timeline. Make sure that the bad guy goes through their arms, just in his position slightly to make sure he doesn't collide with any, any of the people that he's pushing out of the way. So then we work on the walk cycle for the bad guy, make him walk forward, loop that so that he does it over and over again, then adjust his position of his head as he walks from through the column of others. Then adjust his arm to push them as they go past their little sideways jaunt. Did six of those to do. Well, that's weird. What the hell's he doing there? I thought we'd put all of the things up there. I guess we forgot one. Uh, might put him at the front. Might put him at the front. So take the one guy that I forgot before, put him at the front, give him the same animation data as all the rest and a few positions to make him walk around the corner. Watch it over, review it, try and give it some sensible camera angles, adjust the bad guy's head to look at me as he walks past and says a particular line. So there we go. Um, 25 frames for that shot. It uh, starts with 
the whole chase thing. Uh, well, that's weird. I just did the physics a second ago, and now it's undone the physics. What's happened there? Confusing. Here we go. What happened there was I changed the file name, and so that um, uh, all the caches go to a location dependent on that file name. So now I've got to wait for the physics to pick again, but luckily you don't have to. I'm going to quit the screencast here now, because we're basically done. Uh, the bad guy rushes through the crowd, pushing them out of the way. Uh, all looks a bit better than I expected it to, to be honest. So that's good. Uh, you get to see it in a moment. Get out of my way! What the hell is that? Get out of my way! Get out of my way! <laughs>